protest David Lewis. and woke up to find out that his home was stolen from him in an auction. David. <coughs> Thank you, everybody. David Lewis, uh, my home is at 442 Carl Street here in San Francisco, over by Keysar Stadium. Uh, I was in the process of a loan modification, talking to the bank, uh, when uh, they asked for documentation about my income and also the income of my wife. So it's at my home, it's my wife, myself, and our two kids. When uh, close to your mouth. Thank you very much. Okay, so. We, at that time when they were requesting documentation, my wife, who works for United Airlines, was injured on a flight, and her temporary disability reduced our income by 40%. When uh, uh, the Wells Fargo Bank asked for that documentation about her income, we had to give them the information at that time, both current information uh, about my wife's income, and they based the denial of the modification on her temporary disability income and our total reduced income. Wells Fargo told me that I could, after they denied, said, well, you don't have the income, but please try again. So uh, in that period of time when they said, please try again, we were preparing our documentation. And uh, one morning we found out that our home had been sold to an investor at auction on the Tuesday following Thanksgiving. No! Wells Fargo dual tracked and robo signed. There's no doubt that that activity, while not illegal before this coming January 1st, is completely illegal after January 1st with the Homeowners Bill of Rights. Immoral. Wells Fargo should do the right thing. Rescind the sale. Rescind the sale. Rescind the sale. Keep us in our home. Keep them in our home. Save. Wells Fargo, keep us in our homes. Wells Fargo, keep us in our homes.